Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here at CES 2012, and right now I've got Dave Rice here uh, to tell us about Senseg, a new uh, tactile feedback technology for tablet and touch input devices. Dave, tell us what we're looking at here. Well, what we're looking at is one of our reference design tablet devices. And what we've done is we've implemented our Senseg technology that adds tactile effects to touchscreen displays. That can be of a smartphone display, a tablet computer, a touchpad, even a gaming device. So right here as I go along this half, this semicircle, I'm, it feels like a standard uh, tablet uh, touchscreen response. I'm just sort of feeling the, uh, the outside layer. But as I move the little ball along here, I'm actually feeling these ridges. What, what's, the, what's the feedback that I'm actually feeling right here? Well, we can add the sense of physical edges, textures, and contours to a flat glass screen or a curved glass screen. Um, so any shape of device, but even though it's smooth, it does feel like there's texture and edge to it. And we, we're doing that with electrostatic technology. When you think about uh, how you explore your world by feel, when you're touching things, you're really sensing different types of friction. And what we do is we manipulate an attractive force between your finger and the screen to create different levels of friction that represent edges or rough surfaces, smooth surfaces, corrugated like you have on the bottom left or asphalt on the upper left. Yeah, this definitely feels very coarse and rough. This feels a little bit smoother. Here, it feels like I'm tracing my hand along some cardboarded or uh, corrugated cardboard, and yet when I go up and down, I'm not feeling anything. And side to side, I do. Sure, and the entire screen is live for precisely located effects. And so we not only have a dynamic range of effect, but very, very crisp control over where those effects take place. Um, you know, that's very different from mechanical haptics that shake the entire device. Right. And, you know, and all of us who love playing games really love to have the rumble and, and the feel of an explosion. Um, but there is a whole other dimension that we can add, providing tactile senses to the world that are much more subtle and can be more pervasive. Now, there are some uh, gaming applications to this as well, correct? There sure are. And whether we're adding textures and to the screen that are combined with graphics and sound, or whether we're using them to uh, allow players to find hidden objects. You know, there is a wide range uh, that only awaits the creativity of game designers to exploit. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at one of those if we can. So if we look at the Treasure Hunt game, well, we have a, a textured surface in the graphics. What we've, we haven't mapped those with the tactile effects. Instead, what we've done is we've hidden a treasure chest that you can only find by feel. And so outside in this area, feels like a standard tablet. And then as I sort of trace my finger along, suddenly it's getting rougher and rougher. So I think the treasure might be there. I'm hoping I'm right. Let's find out if these guys can dig. <laughs> and there we go. And there were no visual cues there. And, and that's pretty exciting because now we can move to the world of feel uh, to complement what you're seeing or to work independently from it and really create a new world to explore. I'm actually going to try this next one with my eyes closed to see if that works. Let's see. Oh. I think it might be here. Eyes are closed. <laughs> and you win a prize. There we go. <laughs> nice. What else do you have? Uh, we have uh, a few other things. Here is a jukebox application. Um, in this case, uh, a, a company that's doing some really fun things uh, with user interfaces, Fluid Interaction out of Helsinki, has created this for us. And it's simply selecting through albums. And those that you're, are your favorites have a tactile sense to them. So you can find them by feel or, as well as by sight. So ABBA, not one of my favorites. Well, However, you know, it is in the album. Nordic regions. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Th yeah, that's crazy. So it's not just gaming. There's all sorts of uh, interface elements that you can uh, add. Sure, to. we could put your Twitter feed into something like this and have, have the tweets that get the most retweets or, or from your favorite follower have a different texture to them. So uh, lots of exciting ways that, it, that uh, designs like this could go. All right, Dave, well, tell me about the future of Senseg. Ideally, where are you guys hoping to, to 
to put this technology. Well, we're not a device manufacturer, so the first step for us is to find that visionary uh, device manufacturer that's ready to bring this technology to market and differentiate their products. Uh, so that's what we're focused entirely on now. Uh, and we're having very positive conversations with the leaders in the field. All right, and uh, if all goes well, when are you hoping to get this out into people's hands? You know, we're really hopeful that we'll have uh, products on the market by Christmas 2012. All right, Dave, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you.